right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue with industrialization. We are going to set the stage here for flip class video notes number 32. The Industrial Revolution affected every aspect of life in Great Britain, but it proved to be a mixed blessing. There were both positive and negative effects to the spread of industry. So let's go ahead and see how industrialization changes life. Industrial cities rise. So many people began to live in cities because they could take more or they could make more money in factories than they could working on a farm. We have this term urbanization, which means city building and the movement of people to the cities. So those people coming from the country going into the cities, a lot of them end up moving into the cities. Therefore, more and more buildings are being created here in the city. London was Great Britain's largest and most important city by 1800. So let's take a look at the living conditions. So as the cities grew rapidly, they had no development plans, no sanitation codes, and no building codes. The rapid rise in population brought tons of garbage and disease. Where else are they putting all this garbage? In the streets. So when you're putting the garbage in the streets, you're gonna have lots of rats coming in, Rats are going to lead to diseases. Disgusting. There's no organized police forces to uh, establish and keep order. Most families are going to live in dark, dirty shelters. And the life expectancy in the city was people living to the age of 17. And if they lived out in those country areas, those rural areas, they're going to end up living to about the age of 38. Again, this is on average. So here is a picture of what life looked like here in a building. Looks like an apartment building. People hanging their clothes outside to dry after being washed. If you look at the streets, there's tons of garbage in the streets. You could see carriages are being pulled by horses. And what do you think horses do when they have to go to the bathroom? They just go to the bathroom right there on the streets working conditions not much better so most factory workers worked about 14 hour days and they would work six days a week they had no vacation due to fear of losing their job factories employed women and children they were hired as cheap sources of labor women did not get paid the same amount as men in fact they got paid less so women were being hired to work some jobs because it meant that the factory owners would have to just pay them less. Children are being hired as cheap sources of labor. Their hands are little. They have little bodies. They can get into little spaces. It's very unfortunate. Why do you think the uh, life expectancy age was to about the age of 17 on average? It's because a lot of kids are being killed in factory mishaps. Factory work was extremely dangerous. It is not well lit. There's no ventilation. There's no safety equipment. And the breathing in of coal dust made the lifespan 10 years shorter. Um, here is a picture of children and women and men working in factories. So you could see here in this top picture, it's one of my favorites. You have a young boy who is barefoot. And his hands are in some machine, working in the machine. All right, doesn't look very safe. And you got this cute little girl here, very sad looking, very dirty. Here are some women wearing dresses, working in machines, no safety equipment, no goggles, no helmet, no gloves, nothing, working in machines. Same up here with the guys. All right, not very uh, ideal working conditions. All right, so that's it for the flip class video notes number 32. You guys are going to be doing an industrial revolution stations activity where you'll be working with a packet and you will be answering questions and learning more about the conditions and uh, class structure, urbanization, and everything else dealing with the industrial revolution. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask come see me 
And if not, I will see y'all on the flip side.